XAI, one of many Elon Musk's company, has just released Grok 3, claiming it is the best LLM model with benchmarks showing incredible results. Let's put Grok 3 against ChatGPT4 Turbo in a head-to-head -head race to see which one is better at solving lead code hard questions. The reason for choosing GPT-4 Turbo is that it is the most widely used OpenAI model and it is offered free of charge to OpenAI users. Let me first show you how you can easily access Grok3 AI model. Simply go to lmarena.ai, select direct chat and make sure early Grok3 is selected as the AI model and you are ready to go. I have randomly selected three lead code hard questions and we can see that they have a relatively low acceptance rate which will make this test even more interesting and we'll be comparing these two models based on the following parameters. Time taken to generate an answer. Does it pass all lead code test cases? We will be comparing memory utilization and runtime. To make this as fair as possible, we will be using the exactly same prompt for both AI models with no changes at all. Let's start with our first lead code question. Lead code 25, reverse nodes in K group. Let the race begin. It looks like Grok3 is close to an answer, so here we go 17 seconds against the 20 seconds of GPT-4. Let's see how they perform at lead code now. The results are in. Runtime was the same, but memory utilization it was a bit more efficient in GPT-4 Turbo. I just wanna say that sometimes lead code runtime and memory utilization is not 100% accurate. We can see that GPT-4 was a bit more efficient in terms of memory, but it took a bit longer to find the answer. Let's move on to the next one. Our second question is lead code 30 substring with concatenation of all words. I mean, here we have a clear winner. Grok3 was way faster than GPT-4, almost half of the time. Let's see how they perform at lead code. Results are in. We can see Grok3 was a bit better in terms of runtime, but memory GPT-4 had a better performance. I just want to highlight again, we should be running this multiple times because lead code calculation of runtime and memory is not the most accurate in the world. Let's call it a draw in terms of performance. Let's move on to the last question and let's see how that goes. The last lead code question on our list is lead code 32, longest valid parentheses. Let's see how the two models perform here. Okay, both models are producing an answer. Let's see which one is faster. Okay, uh, GPT-4 has been faster this time. Two out of three times Grok3 was faster. Grok3 time was almost double the time of GPT-4 Turbo. Let's see how they perform in terms of runtime and memory. Runtime was the same for both, but it looks like in terms of memory, Grok3 has won clearly. So if we put our results on a table, this is what we get. We can see that they've been quite similar, but we did see a difference in the time taken to find an answer where Grok3 was faster than GPT-4. Overall, if you look at this table, we can see more icons of Grok3. I would say in this case our winner is Grok3, but I just want to say again this was not a perfect scientific method. It was quite far from a scientific method because there are a lot of variables that come into place. For example, I executed Grok3 and GPT-4 few minutes apart, so maybe those few minutes made a difference in terms of network traffic. And there are also other variables to keep into account, such as that 
the runtime and the memory calculation of lead code itself are not the most accurate in the world. So I hope you found this little comparison a bit useful. Please like and subscribe.